My father created the Fighting Zoo logo because he was proud of what it stood for. The feathers symbolize the outstanding rewards that students, faculty, staff, and alumni will achieve for academic, athletic, and lifelong excellence. The determined look in his eyes symbolize fortitude, never giving up, and the focus necessary for sustained academic, athletics, and lifelong achievement. The paint on the cheekbone symbolizes that life can be a battle and we have daily struggles. The color green symbolizes the development of young people and their growth at the University of North Dakota. The color yellow symbolizes the sun, which provides humanity light and warmth in order that life may continue. The color red symbolizes the lifeblood that has been poured out by our ancestors to make our state and peoples great. There is nothing but pride in the Fighting Sioux name and logo. Uh, I love the Sioux logo and I'm Sioux too. And yeah, it just makes me proud. To be honest with you, there's nothing hostile about it. The hostilities for this came from the NCAA towards the Sioux people. I don't appreciate that very much. To call us hostile and abusive and to say a name and a logo as beautiful, as honorable as the Fighting Sioux name and logo is an outright lie. The way the name was treated, the, the symbol was treated by us as athletes. We carried it high, we carried honor. Brought a lot of, of rich tradition of, that was carried generation to generation, team to team, you know, and year to year that uh, this, is, this is a sacred thing to us and feel very blessed to have been part of the, the history, the Johnny Marks, the Dave Osborne, uh, Phil Jackson, Errol Mann. People went on to professional sports and carried that fighting through tradition of honor, respect, integrity to the highest levels in our sport. You know, the fact is that, that there is no other name. The Sioux is an honorable name. It's a great name. And, you know, I went to school here in, 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 the, in the late 70s and early 80s, and it was great then. There was never any, any issues with it. And that's why we should always be called the Fighting Sioux, because we have a struggle. we got to overcome all of this negativity, all these stereotypes, all everything. But that's what makes us stronger.